What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and I know it has been a while since I've posted a video, but you boys, oh my god, life has been crazy, it's been good, school has just been killing my ass, and I was keeping up with YCS Dallas on the side, and I noticed that a man named Brian topped with my Trick Stars, but he decided to do a little bit of a spin on my Trick Stars now. Uh, as you all know, already I topped the first regional of this regional season with Trick Stars, so I like to think I'm a self-proclaimed expert on the deck. Uh, hashtag shameless plug-in. But I wanted to talk about this deck and in depth, and I wanted to discuss some of this guy's choices and some things I think could be improved upon. The DD Curse and the Honest are not in here. This is just going to be something that I'm talking about later. Uh, it's actually a 41 card main deck. Just disregard the DD Crows and the Honest. Um, and then, of course, the side deck and extra deck are, you know, what they need to be. So let's just go ahead and dive into this. This is going to be a long video. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, please be sure to smash that like button. Titty smack it, you know, boob smack it, whatever torque smack it. I don't know what you want to do with the like button. Just take it, take your clicker, and click it, and like it, and be sure to add it to your favorites as well, because it makes me a happy boy, and it makes me want to be able to post more content when I see the support and the love from my subscribers. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. Now, he is playing right off the bat. Three Ash Blossom, three Gofu, three Droll and Lockbird, three Ghost Ogre, three Ghost Reaper, only two Honest, one Max C, three Candina, one Lily Bell, three Lycoris, uh, for the spells, he's playing 3 Cosmic, 1 Dark Hole, 2 Desires, 1 Raigeki, 3 Terraforming, 3 Light Stage, and for the Traps, he is playing 3 Reincarnation. Now, something I noticed interesting in the main deck is that he's not playing any DD Crows in the main or the side, so that was definitely something interesting. And then, he is only playing 2 Honest. Now, if you guys have seen my build, which if you haven't, please go back and watch my uh, profile for... Uh, I believe it was October or September. It's still the same build that I'm using to this day, even though I don't really go to locals a lot. But it's still a decently updated build. I feel that Honest at 3 is such a necessity in this deck. I, I understand that Brian did not want to open with it. That was his reasoning behind it. Um, he much rather would... or his, his reasoning was that he wanted to maximize out on his hand traps to be able to beat Spirals. Instead of having cards, you know, like in my build... Storming Mirror Force and Blazing Mirror Force, and you know, like strikes and warnings and stuff like that. So he threw stuff like that into the side, which I understand. However, coming from someone who only has two Ash Blossoms, I am playing three Honest because of the fact, you know, as I just said, I only have two Ash Blossom, but even if I had three Ash, I would figure out some way to fit in the third Honest just because I feel that Honest is so, so, so good. It gives you the ability to run over those monsters that you can't run over. Like, no matter what build of Trickstar you're playing, I feel like you just have to play three Honest. You have to play as many as you can. It makes the deck so much better, and it lets you inflict so much more damage that you can beat the opponent faster. Uh, Brian did say that this deck should be played in a stall base type of way, and I understand that. However, you also have to keep in mind that you have to be able to beat your opponents fast at the same time. When you stall, you want to mostly just burn the opponent instead at that point. You want to kind of put them on the pressure to have to make a move instead of building up their resources, and that's kind of how the deck wins. Now, as for things like Cosmic Cyclone, if you saw my build, then you'll know that I'm playing Mystical Space Typhoon. Those were supposed to be Cosmic Cyclones for the regional. I didn't get them in the mail in time, so I just played MST, and it was the same thing. Quite honestly, in that situation, I felt that it was better because I wasn't wasting life points on Cosmic Cyclone. I think that this is just sort of um, player preference. If you want to play uh, Cosmic Cyclone, by all means, go for it. Just keep in mind that if you use all three, you're paying 3,000 life points. Um, but at the same time, he's not playing Strike and Warnings in the main. So worst case, I mean, he could just you know take out the Cyclones for the, the Strikes and the Warning, or he could smoke screen the opponent and take out three Reincarnation and put in like three Strike or something, whatever he wanted to do. Um, Desires... I know that Desires is a good card. I understand why it's a good card. I understand that it gets rid of cards that you really weren't going to draw anyway in the grand scheme of things. However, I've just never been a fan of the card unless it's been in like 50, 60 card decks. And this build obviously is 41 because he wasn't playing any DD Crows and only two Honests. And I, I don't know. It just, you activate both of them, you're down to like 20 or even less cards. 
And I mean, obviously you're not going to probably get both off in a match, but it's like, you know, let's say you're going first and you play desires and you hit your hand traps. Like, yes, I understand that's just Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know, man. I just, I've never been a fan of desires. I feel like playing desires in this deck is just like, uh, I'd rather just play it in the straight OTK Trickstar version, but that's just me. I, again, I understand it's a card. I understand why it's a good card. Um, it just, I, I, player preference i've just never been a fan of desires i really haven't um but that's about it for the main deck reincarnations are standard uh brian said he only draw and lock someone out of their hand once and that was in top 32 or top 16 i believe he said um and again compared to my build he's not playing any strikes or warnings or mirror forces because he wanted to max out on hand traps which i of course understand um and the reincarnation thing, he said, in his words, and I quote, if you're using the reincarnation combo, I feel like you're kind of just doing it wrong at that point. And I will admit, I do agree to an extent. You know, it's a very cheesy combo, and it's like, you know, if you happen to get lucky enough to get it off, congratulations, you won the game. Just go to the next game. Um, but, you know, if, if they ash you, which, you know, we'll just for argument's sake say that 95% of people are playing triple ash in the main deck, if not side deck it makes it very difficult to get that combo off. You know, I only got the combo off at the regional I topped at, like I want to say twice. Um, and I, you know, I, I still won both of those matches, but still, I mean, the one time, I won, my my reincarnation only got ashed one time at that regional, but because Trick Stars were new and no one really understood what they did, my opponent even asked, can I ash blossom that? And I knew the answer was yes, but I'm not going to, you know, help my opponent, of course. I was like, I'm not really sure. And then he ended up, like, having Ash in hand. He read it, and he's like, yes, I can. And then I was like, yeah, you can. Um, but it, it, now that people understand how the deck works better and people understand which cards are which, uh, it's easier to counter the deck. You don't have that surprise factor, which Gofu is definitely a surprise factor in Trickstar because I didn't even think about playing Gofu. Um, th with Gofu, you have the ability to actually make your extra deck viable, which I, I really, really like. So good job on you for playing Gofu, sir. Um, let's go ahead and go to the side deck here. He was playing one unending nightmare, one bottomless. He said, take out the unending nightmare for three MST. MST is so good. It's still just so good. Uh, three system down for ABC, one bottomless because he thinks that bottomless is good. That's just player preference. Three evenly matched, one Imperial order, three strike in the warning. I like the inclusion of Imperial order. Um, it's basically an anti-spell, um, but it doesn't, or yeah, negate all spell effects on the field. Yeah, so it would lock you off too, but it, it's basically like another anti-spell. I mean, if you don't have Imperial Order, I say just play one anti-spell, um, but it just sort of all depends on what you want to do. I think it's a good inclusion overall. Um, extra deck, we've got one ABC Dragon Buster and a double Helix. This is, of course, because of the cherries. I really like the fact that he went ham with these hand traps. I feel that that's where Trickstar really shines, is that you're able to play so many hand traps and still have a viable deck. Because uh, if you look at it, you're really only playing seven, right? Yeah, seven Trickstars. The rest is basically hand traps. I mean... Besides Gofu, but still, it, it's still a working deck. Like, everything still gels well together. And you don't really have to worry about evenly matched all that much. I mean, every deck has to, but still, it's like, if they do that to you, then fine, they do that to you. I mean, that, that's, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! at that point. Then we got one Ancient Fairy, one Beals, one Omega, one Vermilion Dragon Mech. This was an interesting tech. And also, if, if you're wondering how he's able to make these, remember that Ghost Ogre is a tuner. Remember that Ash Blossom is a zombie tuner. Somehow this thing's a freaking zombie. Uh, and remember also that Gofu is a tuner. So he technically has... Oh, and Winter Cherry is a tuner. I did not know that myself. So he's got three, four, five, six, three, six, nine, twelve tuners. That's that's nice. So anyway, Vermilion Dragon Mech. It is a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine star monster. 2700 attack, 1800 defense. One turn plus one or more non-tuners. Once per turn, you can banish one tuner from your hand, field, or graveyard. Then target one card on the field, destroy it. If this Seeker Summon card is destroyed by a card effect and sent in the graveyard, you can target one of your banished tuners, add it to your hand. This lets you reuse your hand traps, which is busted, number one. And number two, it actually makes them useful whenever they're in the graveyard. So... Vermilion Dragon Mech was definitely an interesting tech, and he said it was very helpful. Uh, Omega, he said that there was a combo with this where uh, you would, like, Omega one card out of the opponent's hand and then reincarnation them, and then basically when Omega comes back, you put the reincarnation in the graveyard. Uh, one Acid, one Baguska, one Nightmare Shark, two, uh, one Deco Talker, two Link Spider, and Mrs. Radiant. Uh, there was another combo that he mentioned with Gofu. Um, 
the Link Spiders and Mrs. Raider are essentially in here for with Govu uh, to provide combo plays. One Proxy uh, and one Holly Angel, and as I mentioned, the Double Helix for the Cherries. So overall, what do I think about this deck? I think that this deck, or this build in particular, Trickstar, is a very good take on the Trickstar deck. I'm definitely going to test it out myself because I'm definitely interested in it. Um, I feel that my build is a more stun, much more rogue s build. He built his deck pretty much to just defeat Spirals. I mean, let's be honest. Anyone that went to YCS Dallas was making their deck to beat Spiral. Um, so I definitely like the fact that he played all of these hand traps I just think that, um, you know, again, you got to be able to play triple honest. You know, if, if you only have two Ash Blossom, just throw in a third honest. It's a good substitute. I understand that, you know, you don't really want to open with it. But at the same time, it's like, I would rather just take that and, you know, at least have an 1100 beat stick on the field that if I'm going second and I'm able to clear your board like a board wipe or something, I at least poke you for 1100 damage and put it back in my hand. Sure, you know it's there, but I mean... <laughs> it just, I, I feel like you need three. I really do feel like that you need three. That's just my personal opinion. You know, again, I'm not a huge fan of Desires, but it is what it is. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this deck. I'd be really interested to see what you guys have to say. Um, are you guys going to be testing Trickstar now that it topped? Uh, let me know all that more in the comments below. I want to try and get back to posting more videos. But be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for the latest and greatest videos. For Yu-Gi-Oh! Post in High Definition. Lots of good videos planned for this channel, so I really recommend that you subscribe and hit that like and favorite button. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.